for long-lasting answers to the global water crisis, scientists are now looking to the very place where primordial life began, the sea. Today, the Earth's surface is 70% water. 97% of that water is salt water. Since ancient times, we have pondered the question, what if salt water could be transformed into clean, abundant drinking water? Think of the possibilities. But for years, the cost of large-scale desalination has been affordable only to nations with enough oil surpluses to power their desalination plants. Today, the process of desalination still produces only one quarter of one percent of mankind's daily freshwater needs. The partnership of science and technology is now bringing the cost down. Reverse osmosis is one promising new method for reducing the cost of desalination. Through this process, pressure is applied to salt water to force it behind a membrane. Only pure water passes through, leaving the salt behind. Reverse osmosis costs less than two dollars per 3,800 liters. Desalination is not the only future solution that the sea has to offer. Salt water agriculture is another looming possibility. Zeeland, the Netherlands. In this place of ocean tides and seasonal flooding, the sea pours silt into creeks, creating an ecosystem that is constantly refreshed. While common vegetables cannot grow here due to the salt water, certain varieties of sea vegetables can. Zeekral, or sunfire, also known as sea asparagus, gets its salty flavor by retaining sea salt in its fibers. Sea lavender, or lamzor, is a green leafy vegetable which is becoming common in more and more markets. Just as the Japanese farm many varieties of seaweed for its high mineral content and nutritional value, farmers along the great coastlines of the world may one day farm native salt-tolerant crops on a larger scale.